Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. And I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to use the assets from the Animal Zentangle um, coloring pack, along with the bonus that I've included of the horses. And in this bonus, I included um, images of the horses, but with some transparency in them. So you can actually just bring them into PowerPoint, add a pattern behind them, and create your own unique coloring page with it. And it's it's very simple. So I'm just going to show you that, right? So let's go here and say I want to use the goat. Now you can just go to your your go grab an image and drag it into PowerPoint if you like or you can use the insert picture right from file and I'm gonna do that so let's just pick this horse okay so see what happens because I've created these horses like this right you have the white background with a transparency here when you drag it over a pattern you have a fill and I love these actual the heads to use as a fill for not just the horses I'll be using them for other stuff but the thing is these are great images adult coloring images right because they're detailed and you could actually I would put this maybe on a mandala as a background to differentiate it uh, and they're intricate enough for adults and we do really don't have a lot of adult coloring PLR out there so I thought this was great and the horses that you get with this like uh, you'll get them in JPEG PNG with the white fill also so these ones you could actually use for a children's coloring book because there are big spaces for them to color in so it's perfect for that but if you want to use them for adult coloring books you can just do this with them so okay so I'm gonna put this here drag this over and now we have a pattern in there but make sure you have your selection pane up okay you can go to picture format selection pane and then I'm gonna come down here because I want to grab the pattern and I'm gonna turn it so you don't have to just leave it as is you can play with the pattern make it bigger or smaller and see I love this it looks like this horse has flames or something so what you want to do from there, if you like where the pattern is, you like how it is, come over to your other picture, hold down your control key, click on the other picture so that they're both selected, then go to picture format group and group them. And now you're done. Okay, so you have an image there that is suitable for an adult coloring book. And I love these heads as fills. So let's just do another one. Um, insert picture. And let's see. Let's use you. Okay. And then click off of that and go back and insert the horse you want to use. And there you have a really unique coloring page, you know. And I actually like it exactly as it is so I, I don't need to play with the pattern but if you want to just click over in your selection pane on the pattern you can turn it around and create different looks for it so you could actually use the same image and by moving it have completely different patterns so it's not just a one-time use oh I like that even better okay so I'm going to come over and select both of my pictures go to picture format and group here you go and I'll do one last one so it's really easy with the included uh, horses with the you fill it okay which is what I called it so you know what it is so you fill that with your own patterns right so let's try a monkey I think that's a monkey yep Oh, okay, so, and then click in, and we'll do this horse, right? So, again, this is a great horse for a kid's coloring book because it has big spaces. 
if you want to turn it into an adult coloring book page. Awesome. See? Makes it very complicated and, you know, so I'm just going to turn this to the side. Maybe bring it down. I don't want his face covered, so let's do this. Oh, that's really nice. Right? So we come over here. Well, hold control down, select both pictures, go to picture format and group. And there you go. Now you have like three absolutely gorgeous horses that are more complicated and can be used for adult coloring books. So I hope this helps and gives you some ideas on how to use both the horses and the animal coloring heads as well. Have a great day. Thank you.